today's lesson, we're going to talk about the climate regions in Europe. It shouldn't take very long because there really aren't that many of them. Um, one of the main climate regions that you're going to find in Europe is you're going to find a marine west coast climate region. Uh, the marine west coast climate region extends over much of Europe, starting in northern Spain, across most of France, uh, Germany, into western Poland. So in that region is where you're going to find a marine west coast climate. And if you remember back to earlier, the marine west coast climate generally has warm summers and cool winters. Another reason you get that type of climate in this area is because we have the North Atlantic Drift. And so if we look in the Atlantic coast, there is a current of warm water that kind of moves towards Europe's west coast. Okay, and that's coming from the tropics. And so that warm water gets pushed up by a thing called the prevailing westerlies. And there are winds that blow from the west to the east. And then those pick up that warmth from the current and they carry it into Europe. So we have the warm tropical waters coming from the North Atlantic Drift. And then we have the prevailing westerlies, the blue arrows that pick up that warmth and carry it over Europe. And it's really unblocked because there's no mountains that block the prevailing westerlies. And that allows the winds to carry also bring moisture because if there's mountains, that moisture wouldn't come. But it carries moisture, bringing plenty of rainfall. So we get a lot of farmland in this area. The climate, however, does differ a little bit when we kind of look in at the Alps. Because um, if you get that, then it's going to trap a lot of those winds and that precipitation. So it's very, very cold at the top of these Alps because the altitude gets higher. And you also have that precipitation coming in from the prevailing westerlies. And it gets snow as deep as 33 feet at some times during winter. So a lot of snow in the Alps during this region. Um, this whole marine west coast region that we have was at one time filled with forests because of all that rainfall. But they have since been destroyed. And like we talked about deforestation with South America, but this deforestation is kind of like the type we looked at with Iowa. Okay, When we talked from the, to the conservationist from the World Land Trust, he told us that there's deforestation happening in the United States, especially Iowa. But with that deforestation, we get more things being planted. Okay, and the same thing is here. Okay, it's not slash and burn farming like in South America where they cut things down, they ruin the land and can't reuse it. Here in the Marine West Coast climate, they cut it down and they grow grains, sugar beets, livestock feed, and root crops like potatoes. So those things can be recycled and regrown. So that's our Marine West Coast climate. And as we move further inland towards like Sweden, Finland, Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary, you start to find kind of a different climate. It's a little bit more harsh than the nice marine west coast climate that we have. Um, in these areas, right here, we have cold and snowy winters, or we have really warm or hot summers. So that's the humid continental climate. Inland, when we have the marine west coast climate over Spain and France and Germany and Poland. Okay, as we get into Sweden and Finland and uh, Poland and Hungary, that's when you start to see in Slovakia the human continental because you're more inland, you're more continental than the coast. And then we're going to go off from the human continental into one that we're all going to be really jealous of, and that's the Mediterranean climate. And it's a place where a lot of people go to vacation. Uh, the climate region extends really from south of Spain into France through Italy and Greece. So if we look, kind of Spain, Spain into France, Italy, and then down into Greece. This is our Mediterranean region because they're all on the Mediterranean Sea coast. So in this place, it's really nice most of the year around, and mountain ranges block cold north winds coming from the north. So Mountains are able to block this cold wind that's coming here, which keeps it nice most of the year around. There's one expect, one exception to this, and that's kind of the southern tip of France or the Mediterranean border. Right here they have mountains that make it not as nice, so they actually experience a thing called the Mistral. And that's a cold, dry wind from the north, while most of the other ones experience the Sirocco. And what a Sirocco is, is that is hot, steady south wind that blows up from North Africa. So that's where the rest of the Mediterranean climate regions experience. Okay, is that one coming here? Well, France, 
they have the mistral, which is the cold, dry wind from the north. And that's kind of our Mediterranean climate, again, where people go to vacation. We also get that climate region a lot over here in the uh, Balkan Peninsula. Okay, I'll move my, all my map here. Um, the last climate region, which is the complete opposite from the Mediterranean, is the, um, it's the permafrost or the uh, Arctic regions. So let's find those on our map. Okay, and when we get this cold, that's when we get into the tundra climate zones. Okay, these areas experience permafrost, where the subsoil remains frozen all year round. And then to the south of the tundra region, we get, um, we get into the subarctic climate, which is cool most of the time, but it's really freezing in the winter. So these far northern regions often have very little, well, very large, sorry, very large variations of sunlight. The winter nights are long, and so are the summer days, and they call this region the land of the midnight sun because of that.